happy to take any questions. Thanks very much, Ivy. That was really an excellent presentation. Really set the scene for us very well. Can you all hear me? Is this on? Yeah. And um, and was extremely wide ranging <laughs> and very interesting to all of us who are interested in um, the idea of sharing uh, storage facilities and sharing um, our data and also um, shared cataloging and so on. Uh, we're, we're very much at the initial stages of a lot of this, but I think um, you've, you've given us a huge amount of food for thought. And so we'd invite questions from the floor. Ta. I was impressed by the scatter plot that showed the overlap in mm -hmm. monograph collections with Tani Trust and other ones. And uh, you have to ask the question did that inspire some conversation? about additional approaches to digitization uh, monograph. Well, most of the Hadi Trust, it's an interesting question. Hadi Trust has a collections committee. It's part of the collaborative infrastructure that we're building as part of that partnership. Most of what's in Hadi Trust is a byproduct of mass digitization projects. So completely opportunistic and um, in some cases, perhaps happenstance. Some of those collections were very intentionally uh, built. For example, um, the University of Texas, which is just finally bringing his collections into Hathi Trust, um, digitized its Latin American, Benson, Benson Latin American uh, collection. Uh, that was a very specific target. But many of these have gone, in fact, gone through storage facilities as the place where digitization happened. And that's one reason why there is a high degree of overlap. Uh, well, and also it just, it's overlap with the ARL uh, holdings a, as a whole. So it's going through those collections. And so naturally, there would be a lot of overlap. Um, we've just completed a, a collection survey that the Collections Committee sponsored to try and identify additional areas for collaboration. And the survey um, asked for a whole range of kinds of things that people wanted to do. And some of them have, um, are in the area of more explicitly uh, building collections to fill gaps, for example. Um, to um, quality amelioration is a very big issue in, within Hathi Trust because it is a byproduct of Google projects and um, largely, and some of those early scans were of they were really designed for discovery, not so much for reading. And so there's a lot of quality work that needs to be done in, for those over time. Um, so there is definitely interest in, uh, I think, deepening some uh, cl collection collaboration. At the UC, we've, um, one of the libraries that, that was a target of, uh, of digitization was the Scripps Oceanographic Library in uh, UC San Diego. And because that is a collection of national importance, we're doing some work on that particular collection to try and bring the digital collection up to snuff because that library has been closed. So a beautiful building that was not being used now has been repurposed, but the collection is still at UC San Diego. The books are somewhere, but they're not together where they were. So there's increasing reliance on the digital as the way to way into to the, the physical collections. And as we're working on that collection, we're starting to think about what other important marine science collections are there in the US that we could collaborate with to bring more uh, comprehensiveness to that collection. So we're certainly thinking along those lines. Um. Are there any other questions? There's a roving, there are now roving mics, yes, uh, Hugh. Hi, thanks. Hi, thank you very much for that, it was really interesting. Um, without asking an overly pessimistic question, um, if you take that, as you highlighted, this issue has been with us for over a century, um, which was a revelation to me, but given that publishing generally is proliferating at a, an increased level, including print to an extent in, in terms of just volume of it, how optimistic can we be that this actually can happen? I think it's going to have to happen because we are running out of space. Um, in the journal sphere, we have really been pushing for more collaboration um, the Center for Research Libraries in the U.S. is also very interested in this problem and how to leverage uh, action at a more national scale to accomplish more, more quickly. Um, that's where we're going to get a lot of spa more space reclamation more quickly um, in journal archives. So I think the imperative for that um, is going to increase. Um, 
I really am very interested in this clear proposal that's uh, forthcoming. I don't, I don't know what it's what it is, what it's going to look like, but um, Clear is an organization within the U.S. that has a lot of influence um, and um, has a lot of connections with uh, the Mellon Foundation, for example, where significant grant funding comes. And so maybe there can be some uh, the, the notion of a shared repository system, if it's tied to the the context in which we're working today, I think does have more promise because you know in the past you couldn't really collaborate around print without letting go of print and you didn't have anything but print but today we do have the digital environment both what's viewable and also what's searchable and that creates a very very different context so I, I am more hopeful um, 